Yo, what up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. It's action time. Yes, it is, brother. And what we reacted to today? The Fall Guy official trailer. The Fall Guy. Now, this is a old show back in the '80s, right? Yeah, man. Uh, Glenn Larson, the guy behind like Knight Rider, Mannix, uh, Buck Rogers, all that good stuff, yeah, yeah. man. So it basically is a show about this uh, stunt man who's trying to make ends meet, and then does a uh, bounty hunter work on the side when uh, Hollywood work is slow. That's dope. Yeah. So I, I assume there's a lot of Fall Guys right now. Yeah. Uh, because Hollywood is slow. <laughs> and uh, the OG that was behind that role was uh, Lee Majors. He yeah. plays uh, Colt Devers. Tight, tight. Yeah. Uh, so you guys already know what's up, man. I'm ready to get into this reaction. Well, let's go, man. We got Ryan Gosling coming back in the building. Perfect for the role. You feel me? He has that look. Shout out to Goosebumps. It's a mix of the nice guys and the great man. There, there you go. It is. <laughs> Boom. All right. Ready to react? Man. Let's get it. All right. We're going to start this thing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Tight. Action movie about action movie making. That's tight. So good. Oh, good, good, good. Shot to the heart. Let's go. Anyone but him. I didn't approve him. You know that. You are literally the last person on earth I want to see. It slapped the shit out of you. I really <laughs> I'm open to that in a safer environment. All right. You can go to the truck. No phone call. Get no the text. truck, bro. You see? It's not like I didn't want to apologize. You don't have to explain anything. It was just a flame. So how have you been? God, I hate that thumbs up stunt guy stuff. <laughs> Tight, tight. I'm gonna set this man on fire. You're a stunt guy. We need to keep it super profesh. Profesh is my middle name. You said your middle name was Danger. <laughs> Whoa. I like this. How'd we do, boss? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> That's holstered. It's done. Forget. You, you never saw it. Oh, David Leach. Tom Ryder, the biggest action star on the planet. Is oh. Missing. You need to bring him back. Oh. Jody's movie is dead. Why me? You're a stump man. Nobody's gonna notice you. That's your job. No offense. I mean, some taken. You find Ryder. This is tight, bro. <laughs> Day one, you I'm get there. The love of your life back. I'm not the hero. I'm just the double. Not today, you're not. Yo. Tom, we only need you back on set, pal. on ice he was so dead gail he was super dead damn <laughs> he's got himself involved with some shady people let's go Ooh. i had no choice i had to do some jason born shit <laughs> they were trying to kill me oh and not in a fun way you can make it you can make it you can't make it it's too dangerous got me stairs okay okay Tight. I gotta do it. What happened to your face? You look terrible. You look amazing. You fall down, you get right back Ooh. up. How far would you go for the one that you love? They're doing it. I'll buy you a drink when this is over. <laughs> got the dog, bro. Oh. Got the dog. This is awesome. Want to go to a beach somewhere? Drink a spicy margarita. Make some bad decisions. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's from the show right there. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> the show. March 1st. I'm there. I'm there. Man, okay. Uh, I like it. They capture the spirit of the show, and uh, I don't know what it is about Ryan Gosling, but he's got this new age look of the old school action star. It's like the cowboy hat, the personality, the demeanor. Like he's not afraid to go for laughs and humor, but he's badass at the same time. I'm getting like Kurt Russell, John Wayne vibes. Knight he's Rider. like he, he's a throwback actor, Hasselhoff. You know what I mean? He's got that throwback energy to well, him. Well, because Ryan Gosling is our age, bro. I'm down with it, though. So, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's manly. He's been in school. Yeah. I mean, he's been in, well, it's, it's, it's school, but he's been <laughs> acting <laughs> since he was a child, yeah. bro. We're talking about Mickey Mouse Club. kid, bro. Yeah. So, he, he's, these are the shows he watched 
This is when the directors you that directed him as a kid were directing shows when they were young. Absolutely. So he has a great blend of the new age with the old age. Yeah. He was molded. Yeah. You know what I mean? By old school directors and stuff, and and writers and actors. Like so, you're if you're if you're involved in that world in that age, we're talking about the the early nineties. Yeah. You gotta remember a lot of those directors and stuff. They were they were either coming, they were leaving. Yeah. And they would do the little the little Mickey Mouse shows and stuff. They you know just to get right. a job in. They weren't trying to do it heavy. These are the guys that directed these kids, man. That's true. Now they're grown men. That's and why he, that's he's why still he captures age, it. And then, but he's he still he feels seasoned too at yeah, the same time. Yeah, but that's the work. thing. Like it's just the things that we like. Yeah. It's the same things that he liked or yeah. admired back then. That's why when we watch these movies that he's been doing have been replicating a lot of the shows that we grew up watching reruns some Ooh. some were brand new but most of them were reruns yeah. this is what he was watching so yeah. he knows the, the fall guy like come on bro like you watched it i watched it yeah you know what i'm saying it, it was it was shows that we watched yeah and then you you didn't know what the hell who was starring in it what it was but you knew there was gonna be some action involved you know what i mean we went in like it, it's he's that actor i mean he's our age bro like that's why Ryan Gosling has been shining. Like, we've been seeing an elevation in his acting skills because the number one thing, and it's just like that South Park episode, yeah. was the fact that people can't do nothing for themselves anymore. He's, he's, he's handling what Hollywood doesn't know how to do anymore. They don't know how to be a masculine action hero. I'm loving everything I'm seeing. I love the fact that, they were, uh, that, that Emily Blunt's character has a thing for Ryan Gosling's character, Colt. I, 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 I'm loving what I'm seeing right there. That off the top gives me 80s vibe at the same time, what we want to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? The 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 movie game has lost its way because we've we've forgotten why these shows were popping. These shows pop for the simple reason that you you can embody yourself in the character because it's the fantasy idea of it at the same time, the reality take of it. When you see in Emily Blunt seeing Ryan Gosling does that, doing that trick when he jump across the helicopter, and at the same time, She's worried to death about him. Yeah. But she's turned on at the same time. Yep. And then when he lands and he's going to give her that look like, wow, movie beautiful. <laughs> movie ma we talking Clark Gable stuff right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey. It, this, is, this is the Duke right now, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? John Wayne stuff. Like, that's the that's the beauty of Hollywood. And we've lost our way. And I think these are the type of movies that's going to bring it back. Because, ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget Top Gun 2. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Wow. He gave you what you wanted. Yeah. It was a nice fling in there, little 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 relationship. At the same time, he had to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we want to watch. All this stuff about, you know, what the world has become, it ain't working for Hollywood. At the end of the day, fantasy is the key. We want to go in and watch stuff that we can't do. This is what made movie stars movie stars. And I'm loving the fact that Ryan Gosling is building that name to the, the avenue where you're going to see a Ryan Gosling and you're going to say, I want to watch that movie. Yeah. I'm loving that. Please, Ryan Gosling, whatever you do, do not go to the MCU. Hey, for whatever real, you do, do not go to the MCU. Because <laughs> I do not want that name tarnished. Stay on this. Stay on stuff like this. Yeah. Because you can make a franchise out of this. Because yeah. this is detective work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're back with part Hollywood. Two. And then you got a little bit of the rundown, you know, because he's Bounty Hunter. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it works, man. Like, yo, like. And then because he's doing Bounty Hunter work, it makes him better as a stuntman. You feel me? <laughs> he's, he's, he's progressing on both ends. And then, and then we I'm an to, actor, but I know how to get out of this. This is what I'm doing this fight scene. I'm about to really go and do this. And you know I what really saying? did it, and this is how I survived it. It exactly. worked. It worked. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's dope, like, man. Like, I, I love every bit of this, man. Uh, you, I can I can go on fantasy casting for part two, part three, you know, but I I, I don't expect much out of this movie, but I expect a lot out of it, and I think it's gonna it's gonna be one of those movies that's going to change the way we watch film back to where we need to be. Because I ain't lying, man. A good action movie is where we at, man. It, it, you you got to get rid of that checkbox list when it deals with people that don't even care about this product. Oh yeah. You can't do it. You got to give me something else, man. I'm all for equal opportunities. I'm all for people. You know, different colors and everything like that. I'm with that. But if it don't work with the story, don't do it. I'm liking what I'm seeing in this trailer. There it is, brother. Hey, man, shout out to the epic mic, uh, mic drop speeches today. You're over here killing it, bro. Hey, it's not but about I'm, us. It's about y'all, man. <laughs> hey, I'm going to definitely say, I'm going to jump off of what you said, though. I think it's cool that we get a movie like this that kind of celebrates what it means to be a stunt person. and that Because I, I feel like people forget and they get thrown to the wayside yeah but they're front and center and their lives are on the line you know so that actor doesn't have to risk it all you know what i'm saying so it's cool that you get two perspectives on it like it looks good and 
the the idea of making it and then like selling it and yeah. then telling the story at the same time. So you're getting two experiences in one. On top of that, you know, you got this idea of uh, a stuntman is also doing this movie at David Leach who did Hobbs and Shaw yeah. yep. and uh, Bullet Train yep. and then worked with Chad on John Wick 1. You know what I'm saying? So you got that going. So you know he's going to deliver on that. So the idea is you're going to see real guys doing like real superhero stuff. It's cool. Getting back to basics, like you said. Uh, the idea of uh, the fantasy man, the everyday man, you know what I'm saying? Normal, lean, big, muscular, you know, it didn't matter, but they were putting themselves on the line to get a job, to get paid, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yep. So we can all relate to that. So I think there's a universal element in this movie. My only thing is that I would be very disappointed if we don't get a cameo from Lee Majors and uh, what's her name? Uh, the chick that well, played. Yeah. Uh, I can't think. I think it's Heather, right? Yeah, her character was uh, Jody Banks. Uh, yeah. Heather Thomas. Her Heather Thomas. If yeah, she's yeah. not here, I will be so hurt. Cause they you got they gotta have cameos. Yeah. Cause she was uh, basically the, the love interest, and uh, she was the right hand woman. Yeah. Yep. She yep. was the main attraction. She was a baddie too. She still look good. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is, man. But this hit, man, I, I'm down for it. Shout the Universal it. for this. March first, I'm there. I'm definitely there. I, uh, we gotta get back to the movies, man. Like you know, horror did his thing this year. It held it down. You know what I'm saying? Man. And uh, we faced him. Yeah. We it, faced him. It, it did his thing. It held, it held horror held it down for the for the year. We're gonna. I think we're gonna end the year off on, on a bad note, but. At the end of the day 2024 i think it's gonna be the year of action yeah it's looking like a lot of big announcements you gotta you gotta yeah. get back to the basics man you yeah. gotta get back to what we like to watch man i i i nah man go go back to what we used to watch man the stuff that we used to watch with our grandparents and our parents and why we sat down and watched and enjoyed it you know what i mean you guys gotta ask yourself these questions man like do you guys sit down and go back and watch some of these movies y'all y'all claim they're so epic mm, you know what question. i mean do you guys watch those rewatchable value movies and tv shows you know what I mean? We watch all these shows, they come and they go, but it's like, do you actually go back and watch this stuff? And that lets you know if it's really good or not. You know what I mean? Like, I, I go back and watch a lot of the old stuff that I, I grew up with. And I go back and watch a lot of new, like, it's some new stuff. Like, like let's say, for instance, like, I'll give, a, I'll give a good example of a modern day show that hit well, that everyone claims is the best show, one of the best shows they've ever seen in their life. And that's The Walking Dead. Wow. Right? <laughs> right? Bet, bet. Now, there's a limit to that show for me. Mm -hmm. I can go back and watch. I go, I've go. i watched, I'll say, I went back, the last time, I think it was like last year, I went back and watched season one and two. And then I just kind of fell off and did something else. But those first couple seasons were really good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now. It started off great. It started off, it started great. Now, I can't, I can't even go back and I can't watch new episodes of that. Hmm. It doesn't feel the same. Got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's Stuff been like it's that. It's been stretched out. Like, I go back I go back and watch Game of Thrones, first, second, third season, and then I, I'll, I'll go away. You know nice. what I mean? I think one of the main things that hurt this is streaming. Okay. Because remember, back in the day, we had a thing called reruns. Yeah. And that's when you would go back and you would just, you would watch a rerun and you would get sucked back into a show again. Because you had time in between. You had time in between. Episodes, yeah. You know what I mean? When you're able to stream things when you feel like it, it's just so much content coming your way, yeah. it's hard to really grasp a lot of that stuff. Because I went back and watched X-Files. Great show. Watch the season one, man. I, I, they better not change. I heard them rumors. They better not change that. It's been quiet, too. They so better not they... change that, bro. I was like, no way. Now, you can do a third movie, but don't touch the show. You cannot. You cannot. The reason why. Because the X Files deals with a lot of supernatural things like that, right? And elements. Oh, yeah. And you're going all over the United States. Yeah. You cannot try to change uh, uh, nationalities and all that stuff to appeal to an audience that don't even care about it. Nope. Do not do that because you got to go into them northern, them southern states. Yeah. They ain't letting some folks in there. I'm just wink, wink. You know there what I'm saying? Is. You better, yeah. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> they ain't getting in there. Motor barely got in there because his hair was too dark. You want to get hey. abducted or you want to go home? <laughs> Make a decision. The aliens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like. Yo, the sky's I was the there limit, watching man. some of them, them towns. Yeah. They was going to them, uh, uh, them, uh, them Andy Griffin towns and junk, bro. Some of them. <laughs> hey, some brothers ain't getting up in there like that. You know what I'm saying? You better, hey, hey. And go in there asking man. questions. Yeah. Shoot. Get killed right away. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> you better keep it, keep it man. like it is, bro. You know what I mean? Because it's going to limit the character. Yeah, that's true. Because then it's going to make the character so fictional, it ain't going to make sense. Because it's, it's a representation you're like, now. You're like, nah, it's not he X-Files. ain't getting in there like yeah, that. not like that. Not like that. It's like that 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 Michael B. Jordan uh, movie. Uh, uh, Without Remorse. Without Remorse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't going to no airport doing none of that. That's a white character. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, 
<laughs> it is what it is. Man. But it's not it's not about us, man. It's about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all thought about this trailer. Are you guys down for the Ryan Gosling Emily Blunt collaboration? I love it. Uh I think she's a very beautiful woman. She's always been very, very beautiful. When she does very great work when she's dealing with stunts. Like, yo, like when when it's when it's an act, she's a great you know what? A couple more movies, I'm gonna have to call her action star. I was just about to say. Bro, because she's she's in some good action movies, bro. This, my brain is working right now. Like, if you're going to give me this, I need $6 billion man, Knight Rider, and Buck Rogers reboot movie style. Everything that Glenn Larson touched will, will be magic on the big screen. Bro, who's who? Yeah. All right. We'll talk about it after. Steve Austin. Video. We got to do a Steve Austin <laughs> casting for a $6 billion man. We got to do that. We were just talking about that, bro. Yeah. That fool tight, if, bro. If we're getting this... Man. Bring all his shows to life cinematically. You got to. Yeah. But they've been talking about Knight Rider for a minute. Yeah. And we've been trying to figure out who's going to be the David Hasselhoff. That's, that's the question. You see what I'm saying? And who's going to run the agency? Who, who, who could play that role <sighs> in a sense of coolness and fun at the same time? You got to have both. Yeah. I think he might be too old, but uh, 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 Rocket. Bradley Cooper? Bradley Cooper. Ah, Bradley that's, Cooper. That's a, that's a good age, though. He might. I, I think mine was a little younger in the middle. I was going to say Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy tell him? Yeah. Or the, or the son, at least. Because, you know, the Hasselhoff going to be in there somewhere. He's probably running the organization now. He should be. He'd be in the background. But he should be a whole new character then. Yeah. Yeah, I will right. roll with that. Yeah. If you leave him alone and you just have a whole new character. All right. And then but at up, least he's there. An upgraded version of Kit. Okay. At least he's there. Yeah, because you got have, you had the good one, and you had the evil one, Car. Yeah. 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 So if you if you if you Ooh. if you just mo move forward with it, man, this is too great. Because now we can get a new car. Who was um? I got it. I got it. Epic black actors for the villain of kid, and I and I'll I'll do the good kid. Who you got for the back for the voice? Yeah, for Car. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Okay. For game. All right. So for kid, I was thinking uh. Dude that did Jarvis for Iron Man, Paul Bedney. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, the original kid was a uh, Mr. Feeney from Boy Meets World. Same British style accent. Perfect, right? But it'll they work. Americanized it. It, it, it could work. It could yeah. work. And then, and then you both you have two actors that can uh, theatrically speak. You're welcome. There it is. I'm there. I'm down. Oh my god. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah. Day one. <laughs> do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. And that score better hit too. Yeah, man. Just modernize it. Keep, keep it simplicity. Yeah, you you gotta get you gotta get a fan of Knight Rider oh to do that. God. Don't just get some random musician or or band leader to just do that. You gotta that get someone that, to that loves Knight Rider to produce that. And I'm I'm leading towards hip hop. All right, <laughs> hey RZA, we out here. Um, Ooh, that would be me. <laughs> oh God, we out here. Uh, Man, it's not about us. It's about y'all. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, go to press the subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm J3. We're on the show, guys. Woo! And it just says. Road to 100,000 subscribers, y'all.